Welcome to MLS Storytime Theater. I am El Campeon del Mundo, Judah Friedlander. Today's story is called The Matador and the Mohawk. Luis Hernandez, AKA El Matador, is to this day the greatest goal scorer for Mexico in World Cup history. And in 2000, when MLS was still a baby, the league made its first big money deal by signing Hernandez for many millones de dólares. The league wanted Hernandez to play in Los Angeles, where he would attract millones de supporters to the Rose Bowl to help grow the new league. The problem was that under league rules in the early days, the Galaxy were already at their limit of foreign allocations. NAFTA was not gonna solve this problem. FIFA overrules NAFTA. To work it out, the Galaxy were required to put two players, including a neatly coiffed youngster from the South named Clint Mathis, into a dispersal draft where the teams with the worst records could take them. The Metro Stars picked Mathis and El Matador was allowed to join the Galaxy. No one was happier about this than Mathis who started scoring goals like crazy and flashing his I Love New York undershirt in celebration. Clint set an MLS record with five goals in one game, was named the MLS Best 11, led the Metros from worst to first in the East, and scored the 2001 MLS Goal of the Year. And now Mathis at the other end on the counter. Mathis goes up against Ryan Suarez, gets by Suarez, has help from Ramos. Mathis takes it himself into the 18. Oh, Within two years, the Luis Hernandez experiment in LA was over. El Matador was back in Mexico, while Clint was on the cover of Sports Illustrated with the headline, America's Best. Not exactly the poetry of world champion, but good for you, Clint. Mathis celebrated by shaving his hair into a mohawk and scoring a huge goal for the U.S. in the 2002 World Cup against home side South Korea. I can still remember the announcers screaming, that's why he's here! and it still brings chills to me today. And MLS eventually joined Real Salt Lake. And in the 2009 MLS Cup Final, when Real and the Galaxy went to penalties, Clint got them again, scoring the first goal in the shootout, propelling Real to their first MLS Cup. So where's the lesson in all of this? Is it in the Mohawk? Is it in the undershirt? Is it in the money? You're gonna have to figure that out yourself. You can't always rely on the world champion to do all the work for you. You can do it. El Campeon Del Mundo believes in you. I am the world champion, Judah Friedlander. Join me next time for MLS Storytime Theater.